Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I'm sharing five new must-have crafty supplies. For those of you who've been around for a while, you know that I love to share new products that I've tried out, and I have a whole playlist of five fun fave finds on Friday. I'll link to that here. But I found a couple of supplies that I needed to share with you right now and it wasn't Friday. So let's jump right into five new must-have crafty supplies. I'll admit, when the new Pink & Main ergonomic blending brush first came out, I was skeptical that I needed another blending tool because I already have a ton of blending supplies. I tried it out and I'm here to say that yes, I do need another blending tool, so let's take a look. I have tons of blending tools and was skeptical that I needed another one. I looked around online and wasn't able to find anything like this at a cheaper price. I love the handle and the storage case it comes in protects your work surface when the brush is not in use. I'm using my favorite Distress Oxide tumbled glass to show the benefits of this brush. Some people wonder if you use more ink with these brushes. I don't notice that. These lighter colors get used more by me anyways and so I always buy the refills when the pads get a little bit dry. The handle on the brush makes it really easy to maintain lots of control. One of my biggest obstacles to getting a smooth blend, even with Distress Oxide inks, is that I tend to be very heavy handed. These large, flat, thick brushes make it easy to create light, even, consistent, smooth blends. Honestly, I was shocked at how much I love this brush. I'll be adding a few more to my stash. Possibly one for each color family that I use the most with these types of backgrounds. Definitely one for green, so I would have one for grass, one for the blue, for sky, and possibly one for pink and one for yellow. If you guys would like to see how this brush compares to other blending tools already on the market, leave me a comment below and I'll do a video that shows a comparison. I wanted to show you how the brushes blend two colors together, but I want to keep this brush for blues only. So I'll add that to the video of blending tools if it turns out that that's something you're interested in seeing. Remember to leave it in the comments below. Overall, I highly recommend this brush for a light, smooth, consistent, blended background. Next up is the Tonic Studios Nuvo Shimmer Powders. When I first saw these, I thought, mm, looks a little messy, but oh my gosh, the backgrounds you can create are absolutely beautiful. So let's check it out. Next up is the Tonic Studios Nuvo Shimmer Powder in Meteorite Shower. This is a highly pigmented powder that activates with water. You just tap out some of the sprinkles of the powder onto your project. This is definitely a less is more type of product. You can lift the paper and tap it to the side to get the powder to move around a bit before you spray it. Start with a small amount because you can always add more, but you cannot take it away once it's down. You can let it dry as is or pat dry with a paper towel to pick up some color and water. I love the way the multiple colors are revealed by the water. If you use too much of the powder in one place, it will turn into a blob and it's harder to see the individual colors that make up this shimmer powder. I love how easy it is to create beautiful multicolor backgrounds with such a small amount of product. This small bottle will last a long time. I have been looking for a white spray that dries opaque and bright white for years. I have tried lots of things on the market and I think I finally found the perfect one. Let's check it out. Next up is the Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray. This is a glossy acrylic spray in white. The instructions indicate that gloss sprays are water soluble when wet and permanent when dry. The nozzle creates a great spritz and the white is a fabulous bright white. I was curious about how it would react with water, so I spritzed it and it definitely helped move the white around a bit, and then I patted it with a paper towel to remove some of the white and water and to dry it. Since the white was water soluble, I decided to try to add some more of the Tonic Studio Shimmer Powder and spritzed all of that again with water, and I absolutely love the effect. It's tough to see in camera, but there's a beautiful shimmer to the Tonic Studios Nouveau Shimmer Spray, and yet the white remains pure white. This background reminds me of a crashing ocean wave and will be turned into a card in a future video, so stay tuned for that. The other way to use this spray is to unscrew the nozzle and tap it to create droplets of white. 
One note about this product is that the spray is an acrylic paint, so it's important to clean the nozzle every time you use it so it doesn't get backed up. I've been sure to clean mine every single time and I've had no problems so far. But the biggest test for this spray is to see how it dries. Lots of sprays look great initially, but then sink into the paper or become less opaque and fade after drying. I set these panels aside for a while and they dried relatively quickly, but I wanted to see how the white looked the next day and I'm happy to report that the white is bright and opaque even the next day. So after long last, I finally found the perfect white spray. I really like to keep acetate sheets in my crafting stash because I love to make shaker cards and window cards. So when I saw these new acetate sheets from Studio Katia, I had to try them out. Check out how crystal clear these things are. Next up are the Studio Katia acetate sheets. This is a pack of 10 clear five and three quarters by five and three quarters sheets. They are truly crystal clear and you can even see me in the reflection in the video. They are thin enough to cut beautifully with a paper trimmer and I love using them for shaker cards. I adhered my die cut panel to the acetate and then I added a double layer of foam tape to the base of my shaker and poured seed beads inside. I peeled off the top protective layer of the foam strips and laid my shaker top on top. I can't get over how crystal clear these sheets are. They really make fabulous shaker windows. The last item I have to share is not new at all, but it is such a screaming deal that I had to let you guys in on it. I got this embroidery floss organizer at Simon Says Stamp for $3.99. It comes with a hundred paper bobbins, or it fits the waffle flower small floss bobbin die if you prefer to make your own. I have a video coming soon with lots of card stitching, so I needed to get organized and stay tuned for that. If you don't want to wait for the Simon Says Stamp one to come back in stock, I did find it on Amazon for about $3 more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like product reviews and other videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell so you can be notified when my new videos are available. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. For those of you who've subscribed, leave me a comment below and I'll do a video that shows, that shows what? The benefits of, what am I trying to say? I mean, seriously. If you guys would like to see how this breath, <laughs> that's fine. Really, I mean, that's what I've been trying to say, so that's fine.